Yo, why y'all gotta look at me funny though? Happy Halloween, fuckers, was really good. I'm trying to get into the spirit, B. I'm a dad, son. I gotta dress up as something. And I thought this was very, you know, important right now, considering I'm like a, a reptilian creature, dragon, slash, snake, whatever this is. I think it's appropriate for the fragrance that I'm gonna do. It is Halloween. This fragrance is mysterious and dark. Keeps you thinking. I've never smelled some shit like this before in my life. And it's an expensive one. So if you want to hold on to your wallets and change the channel, you better not, because I will chomp your ass up with this loose tooth. Look, he's, he's a crackhead, so you know what I'm saying? Once you do meth and crack, you start losing your teeth. He's losing it already. Yo, stop doing that dope, B. Just say no. So happy Halloween. I hope y'all got some cool costumes. Taking the little kitties off. Don't be a creep bastard. Give the kids some candy. Stop throwing pennies and bags and shit in the pumpkins. Y'all stingy. So let's roll my motherfucking music before I burn this shit down. You sexy Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. What up, bitch bags? What's really, really, really good? Happy fucking Halloween. What you dressing like? Where them naughty nurses is at, though? Daddy like those. You know what I'm saying? I like how Halloween is just an excuse for every chick to dress as slutty and dead as possible. We should just make more holidays like that. The slutty dead, they're like, every chick want to be mad naked, cold, or looking dead and naked. Like, dudes is into that kinky shit. Like, yo, I've been dying to fuck a dead zombie. Oh, I can't wait. Whatever. The fragrance that I'm bringing you today is a niche fragrance. I can't afford a full bottle, so all I got is a sample. Shout out to Alpha Fragrances, Ricky, good looking now fam. He hooked me up with the sample. And this was a very intriguing fucking fragrance that has got me thinking. But it also made me think about a particular type of thing. And I'll get to it once I tell you what the fragrance is, and it's none other than Mortal Skin 777. Here's the sample right here. Again, shout out to Alpha Fragrances for blessing the kid with this joint. This shit is actually a fire fragrance. Super nice, really smooth. I'm gonna spray it on myself right now. Boom. I was like $7 right there, because this bottle goes anywhere from like $2.50 to like three and change. Stop. But I'm gonna put a picture of the bottle right here. That shit look crazy. It's got a snake head on it. The bottle is one of the dopest bottles I've seen. That should look crazy. This fragrance is the first one that I've smelled from this house. I think it's Stefan Lucas something or other. I can't pronounce it. That foreign shit, I can't, you know. I'm a, I'm a fucking imbecile. I can't be pronouncing shit. I can barely fucking spell or write. But I can tell you that this motherfucker lasted me well over eight hours when I rocked it. I did get a couple of compliments on it. They weren't like, oh, you smell mad sexy. It was more like, what are you wearing? Like, I've never smelled something like that before. It's got kind of like a powdery, ink, leathery, creamy nuance to it, which is a very intriguing smell. It's one of those fragrances that I've discussed before that, you know, you get that, you wanna keep it going back and just smelling the different notes that are coming through, and it just makes it really fucking interesting. I'm not gonna front. But the first thing that I thought of when I sprayed it on myself, which might be off-putting to some people, like fucking Play-Doh. When you were a kid and you opened the fresh thing of Play-Doh and you pulled that shit out, that smell, it smells like Play-Doh to me. But I loved the smell of Play-Doh. You know how some people's glue sniffers, and that might be a thing that actually is like a drug and you might just get really fucking crazy high, like in that movie Crooklyn, you're just <sighs> you know, tweaking and shit like that. Don't be a glue sniffer, that shit's not popping. Play-Doh used to be the shit to me, I loved the smell of fucking Play-Doh and that weird consistency. I don't know, I'm a fucking psycho. But it smells like fucking Play-Doh. It smells like a nice, softer, sweeter Play-Doh. That's what it smells like to me, babe. For, I like it though. I fucking love it, actually. It just brings me back to my fucking childhood. As a matter of fact, it doesn't bring me back to my childhood because I got mad fucking Play-Doh in the crib because I have a six-year-old. And that motherfucker leaves shit all over the place. I got Play-Doh like under my ass as we speak, next to a Lego and a racing car. Mortal Skin 777. This shit is nice. I just can't afford it right now because this shit is a little pricey unless I can find it for the low, like in the ones. Not saying it's not worth it, but it's a little bit of a risky fragrance, to be honest with you. You gotta be a certain type of, you know, 
fragrance kind of snob to appreciate it. Some people, it might be a little off-putting. It's got a little bit of incense and myrrh. Fist fucked by Play-Doh. Leather. Creamy. Balsamic. Intriguing as fuck. I really enjoy this fragrance. It's a really nice, not complicated, but not straightforward linear fragrance. I do get different levels from it, which is making me keep doing that. Going back to it and seeing what else I can get out of it. Do I like it? Yes, I definitely like it. Projection is great. Longevity is great on my skin. Uh, I have no complaints about it, honestly, other than the fact that it smells like Play-Doh. Some people might find it cool. Some people might find it off-putting. They'll be like, ew, that's disgusting. Huh. You know, it's called Mortal Skin 777 with a fucking snake head on top. It's not gonna be for everybody. Let's just put it out there. Is it a ball sprayer? Yeah, man. I wanna put Play-Doh on my balls. Boop, there goes another $7. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I'm gonna say? Balled up Play-Doh nuts. Try it out. Before you buy a whole bottle, this is not blind buy, but it's very intriguing, and the bottle itself is sick as fuck. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, and the Play-Doh nuts. I'll see you next time. You know who it is? It's your boy. Smooches! Who's best? I don't know. Wanna know who's gonna pass the test? I mean,